You know why I love what we do? It's 100% predictable when you become 100% predictable. When you begin to do the right things, law of averages will work for you. If I were holding a coin in my hand with a heads and a tail, and I told you that I was going to flip it 100 times, and that I would guarantee that I was going to get at least one head out of my 100 flips, how many people would say, yeah, I think you're right, Orrin? Well, how do you know that? I mean, there's a 50% chance on any given flip that it could be a tail. How can you be sure? If, what if I just said I'm going to flip it once? How many people are 100% with me still? All of a sudden, most of you went down to about 50%. Right? Because if I only flip it once, there's only a 50% chance it's going to turn up ahead. But if I told you I'm going to flip 100 times, you'd say pretty much guaranteed. Pretty much law of averages is going to work for you, Orrin, and you're going to get ahead. And if I, if I flipped it 100 times, I get ahead, I win. So I let the law of averages work for me if I do 100, but if I only do one, the law of averages isn't working for me. For example, I'm going to prove to you right now that I'm nearly prophetic. I've been sitting up here thinking, and it all of a sudden hit me that somebody in this auditorium was born on January 17th. Where are they? Show me. There it is. I knew it. Yes. Woo. Yes. I am a prophet. I didn't realize it before. I thought I was just close. Hold on a second. I just had another vision. I'm feeling April 15th. Yes. Can you believe this? I am too, how did I, you've got to, you've got to be stunned in, you're like, how, I mean, I, I knew Orrin was pretty good at building business, but now he knows birthdays, even from people he doesn't even know. How did he do it? And some of you are like, I'm not quite so fired up as you are up there, Orrin. Now, for those who understand the law of averages, you said, hold on, with this many thousands of people and only 365 days plus a 366 once every four years. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Come on! Come on! I even got the leap here. You think that was just random? No, it was in there. I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so <laughs> law of averages. Law of averages makes the unpredictable. If I only had two people, if I only had two people in the front row, that was all that was in here. And I said, for example, I'm feeling January 17th. <clears throat> What's wrong with me? I've just never been destined for success. It's always from my childhood, you know. My parents never treated me good. <laughs> I should not have had that last coffee. <laughs> should not have. You are beating yourself up because you're not allowing the law of averages to work for you. While other people are allowing the law of averages to work for them, they're producing amazing results and you're thinking they're special when all they're doing is what I just did here. Some of you are thinking, how did Orrin know that there was someone born in leap year? And I'm like, I had no clue. But I felt with this many numbers that I had a shot. You'll hear people talk about go go getter every month. What go getter every month does is it allows you to join the law of averages. Until you go go getter, you cannot tell me whether you're good or bad. You won't even allow law of averages to give you the opportunity to be good or bad. <clears throat> A little less applause on that one. 
No, Orin, I was hoping I got the lucky plan. I was kind of hoping there'd be two people, and somehow, miraculously, I picked the right birthday for both of those people. Do you know that's how a lot of people are building it? They literally will get in, they'll quit the business, and they say the business never worked for me, which is totally not true. They never worked their business. They never allowed law of averages. The bigger the law of averages works, the more predictable the results. Again, if I just filled the front row with 10 people, and I said, let's see with 10 people if I guess the birthday, I'm going to be wrong way more times than I'm right. Even if I put 365 people, I'm going to be wrong because some of them will be the same birthday and it's not going to have every day. But would you agree if I get up to 5,000 people, I'm going to get, start getting better odds? 10,000 even better yet? By the time I get to 100,000 plus, it's pretty much like clockwork. And they're like, how is that guy so good at his predictions? Because he's letting the law of averages work for him.